Hi, I'm Geri from Geri's Craft Room and today's project is part of a new YouTube hub with a group of talented artists and there are some great prizes to win. I will tell you more about how you can join this giveaway at the end. And I want to thank all of our generous sponsors. Our theme is It's Cold Outside and we had a wonderful mood board. I started with cutting a bunch of snowflakes and I glued three layers of snowflakes together to create some dimension. By the way, I added the products I used in the description box for you and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. After gluing them together, I will give them a coat of gesso. I am going to apply multimedia matte inside the box with a brush. I crunch up some tissue paper or silk paper and I adhere that to the inside of the box. I want some creases and folds for a fun texture. I cut a frame the same size as the box and I cut some strips. I'm going to glue the strips to the inside of the frame to make it 3D. I glue the chipboard flame to the box and I will add a coat of gesso. 
I apply a layer of Distress Collage Medium Grazing, which will give tiny crackles, and I sprinkle on microbeads and seed beads, and they will stick to the collage medium. After drying, I'm going to use Lindy sprays to color the box. I start in the corner and I add the next color in the middle and the last color in the other corner. Don't forget the sides and then I'm going to let it dry. I'm using a fab scrap stencil to make snowflakes with Luna paste. First I apply a layer of Luna paste on the layered snowflake. Now I sprinkle on some white wall embossing powder. I heat set the snowflakes. There will be some bubbles from the paste drying fast and this adds to the texture. If you don't like that, just let them air dry and then melt the embossing powder. While they are still warm, sprinkle on some rose glints embossing powder and melt it again.
I apply a thin layer of Luna paste on snowflakes I cut out of white cardstock and then I let them dry. I cut the word winter from the winter wishes die and I cut off the bottom parts to make a nice curly word. And then I'm going to glue it to the next word and cut off the parts that are sticking out. When I glued all layers together, I sprayed the word with the orange Lindy spray. I have another piece of tissue paper and I spray that with the teal spray. And then I dry it with a heat tool and add some more color on the white spots. And I'm going to dry that again. And now I'm going to add the elements to the box. And first I start with the snowflakes and the tissue paper. And then I add some more Luna paste on the paper because I think it's a bit too dark. I add the words in the middle and then I'm going to sprinkle on some ice crystals. Some more Luna paste in the inside corner. And I sprinkle on the ice crystals. I also add some Luna paste on top of the box.
and I'm going to sprinkle on some more ice crystals. I'm going to add the snowflakes colored with the Luna paste to the back of the box and I'm using a hot glue gun. I cut some in half and let them stick out for an extra 3D effect. I also glue the thick snowflakes in place and then I let it dry. By the way, if you feel inspired I always love to see your mix so don't forget to use hashtag Harry's Craft Room when you share your work on social media. And this is what it looks like after drying. Lots of sparkle and shimmer. Now what do you have to do to have a chance on winning a prize? Like each video. Then leave a comment on each video. And subscribe to all channels that join this hub. I hope you liked the video. I'm wishing you good luck and thanks for watching.